Live in downtown Atlanta, it's the countdown to the Push Awards. Hi, I'm Tamara Wiseman, your voice over the airways tonight. So get ready as we pay tribute to pioneers of yesterday and today and to show honor to whom honor is due. But first, let's go down the red carpet and see who MBTVO's Stanley Aris Jr. has standing by. Right here live on NBTV, folks, I'm standing next to none other than Mr. Robert Jeffrey. He's the band director of this group that I'm standing in front of, of course, tonight, here at the 14th anniversary of the Creative Opportunity Award, led by none other than Rainbow Push here in Atlanta, Georgia. Mr. Jeffrey, how do you feel about, of course, what your group did tonight as it relates to their performance? I think they uh, were very poised. They did a great job, and they're a great group of kids, and I enjoy working with them. I know, of course, you wasn't at some of the initiatives that they had earlier as it relates to Reverend Jesse Jackson press conference, but he spoke about some key things that's taking place in our country today as it relates to Stand Your Ground. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that personally? I know you're a music director, mm -hmm. but I'm sure some of that type of stuff hits you at the core. What are your feelings about uh, Stand Your Ground and how unjust that law is in this country today? Well, I think that uh, Reverend Jackson touched on some very important issues that affect our students and our children and their future. So I thought they were very valid and uh, very necessary. And so I'm happy that he brought them to the forefront. In closing, of course, I would like to find out from your own, of course, observation, how do you feel about being a part of this initiative, being chosen to be a middle school uh, music program to play before some of our community's most beautiful uh, scholars and, and some of our great businessmen in our community as it relates to African Americans? I think it's an esteemed honor to be able to come out and play in front of such a, a noted crowd. And uh, it's great to, for our kids to get the exposure and to understand the history and all the people that have fought in their, um, before them to make it such that they get all the opportunities they get today. And there it is, folks, live right here on NBTV. I'm standing next to a great group of kids. I would like to ask you, this young man, what's your name, son? Samuel Abram. Mr. Abram, what is the name of this program and what school do you represent? Gene Charles Young Middle School. And is there any other closing remarks you would like to say as it relates to the program that you represent? I like Mr. Jeffrey. He's a good teacher, and this is a very good band. And there it is, folks, live right here on NBTV, folks. Stay tuned. This has been an NBTV production. Why? Because we care.